This is Damon Fordham, adjunct professor of history at the Citadel in Charleston, South Carolina. And I'm here to talk about something that everybody needs, which is confidence. And a lesson in that from a great, you know, great person who really showed a good example of that. Some of you may have heard of the great Marcus Garvey. Now, Garvey was born in Jamaica in 1887, and he yearned to grow up to be a great man, and he read some great teachings by people such as Edward Wilmot Blyden, as well as the teachings of a Jamaican newspaper man named Joseph Robert Love, who once said that if advocating for the poor and the suffering made him a dangerous person, then he wished to be as dangerous as he could be. Well, Garvey grew up in poverty, originally in a sort of a low-income lifestyle, and then he read a lot of books, but people would often ridicule him. He once spoke where people yelled, country boy, shut him out. And then he, when he went to the United States in 1916, this was after he had been, done some corresponding with the great educator Booker T. Washington. He came to America and spoke in Harlem, and he had a situation where he got nervous and fell off the stage, and people laughed at him. But from that, he went on to form the Universal Negro Improvement Association, and, uh, and along with that, he laid the foundation for the African liberation movements that were to come in the 1950s and the 1960s. So coming from such a background, and even though he didn't live to see a lot of his dreams come true, they did come true after he died. But he said something here that I think is worth listening to in regard to confidence. If you have no confidence in self, you are twice defeated in the race of life. With confidence, you have won even before you have started. So you see, folks, he said this in his uh, philosophy and opinions of Marcus Garvey. So you see, folks, he had confidence in spite of being poor and by being born in some of the lower echelons of society. He went on to make a worldwide impact, even though many people in his day thought he was crazy and thought he was crooked and all and these type of things. But you have to understand something. There are times when the fools of today may be the wise men of tomorrow. So go on and do some research and what you want to do with your life, find yourself the right type of role models and have that belief in self and others will soon believe in you and keep going about the right way. And with all that confidence and going about things in the correct fashion, you'll be successful too. This is Damon Fordham.